I'm delighted to be joined this morning by Kamal Ahmed, the business editor of BBC News. Kamal, you've been in the Post for just coming up to a year now. How have you find the transition from your very distinguished and long career in print media? Um, it's a huge leap. I think probably far more than I thought at the time. Um, television journalism, radio journalism and digital journalism are obviously all different things actually and when you come into the BBC you realise you have to master each of those and they're all slightly different disciplines. So television journalism is about really distilling down the story to the key elements. You've got to allow the viewer to really understand at the end of your package what that story is about. Radio you have far a little bit more time do a little bit more analysis, a little bit more context, but again, still pretty simple. And then we have online, which is where probably I was most comfortable, obviously being in print and being an online, of course, with the Telegraph. Writing, that's fine. You can be uh, uh, far more uh, expansive about what you're talking about. And you can also uh, give people more detail, which really isn't going to be got across on television. The key thing is, though, trying to sound natural, and that is far harder than you expect. Kamal, business editor at the BBC is probably the most high-profile business journalist job in the country, but it was famously created by Greg Dyke in response to um, the BBC not taking the business agenda seriously enough. Uh, how, is, how does the BBC approach business now? Yes, Greg Dyke really revolutionised uh, business coverage at the BBC, bringing in Jeff Randall as the first singular business editor for the organisation. And I think since then, of course, Robert Peston came after Jeff. He's now uh, the economics editor and now uh, me arriving. Has shown that the BBC takes business, I think, seriously as part of everything that it covers. So it's there now with politics, with economics, with health, etc. Business stands there now um, uh, as a way or as an important part of the BBC's news coverage. I think there has been uh, an issue in the past maybe where the BBC seemed to have quite an adversarial, a deliberately adversarial approach to business and now that has changed. We are there to report on business so that our viewers, our listeners, the people who read online can understand how business operates. Of course we will attack controversies. You've seen recently on our coverage of HSBC, which we have been leading on. When there are controversies, the, um, the, the BBC News will be uh, very strong on that. But also we do have a mission to explain. So things like pension changes, personal finance, those are very important parts of what the BBC does. It's not just about the headlines on the 10 o'clock news, particularly online. We have an important duty to explain as well. Yes, the, the BBC now has a very broad coverage of business across the, the, the range of its output, but everyone's focus is inevitably drawn to the major bulletins, the 6 o'clock, the 10 o'clock news. How, what editorial judgments do you make about what qualifies for a business story to get onto the main bulletins? It really is all about impact, and as you say, these are all judgment issues. So if it's about a big deal, Pfizer, AstraZeneca, that was not just about two companies in a deal battle, but was actually about the future of scientific research in the United Kingdom. It was about foreign takeovers of ostensibly British, of course AstraZeneca was a British-Swedish company, but ostensibly British organisations. It was about jobs, it became highly political. And I think if business stories are hitting those types of markers, then they are worthy of uh, coverage on the 6 o'clock news and the 10 o'clock news. Those two bulletins are basically uh, the six or seven most important stories in the world on that given day. So the, the barriers to getting onto that are very high and rightly. That's what those bulletins are there for. But we make judgments on the importance, the impact, the relevance to our viewers. And I think, as I said, with AstraZeneca and Pfizer, if uh, a business story gets to those levels, then it will get on the bulletins. Kamal, thank you very much indeed. Thanks.